Paul? Yes. <laughs> Just looking at some of the best ways of finding out what religion is? Yeah. <laughs> there is ceremonies are developed in order that man sacrifices. Oh. <laughs> and prayers may be offered with fitting beauty. Oh. Excitement and dignity. <laughs> Certain places oh, and objects connected with the worship and history of a religion <laughs> are held sacred by its followers. Oh, the religion of the United States military. <laughs> now, I know the military is used to purchasing most everything they use. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it only take a few hundred thousand new uh, men and women. Yeah in the military to decide, well, why don't we, yes, recycle all the garbage pooch. Now, for all of the recycling uh, that happens in the municipalities, <laughs> we need one less container to be oh, picked up every month. Yeah. Could you get me the fixed utility costs of each of the police departments? Yes, the sheriff's departments. <laughs> Those in law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you say you don't make any garbage when you're employed in law enforcement, but my thought is you do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> see, I have a new technology for shredding paper. Pew! <laughs> Instead of using knives, yes, I use high temperature water. Yes, made from an HHO <laughs> gas <laughs> oh, paper shredder. <laughs> it pulps the paper. Yes, and it causes the steam effect to begin the biodegrading process of removing all the ink on the paper. <laughs> Now, for every shred truck of every municipality, get me all the shredding companies, yes, that you employ as a police department right now. <laughs> because my thought was, what if the military wanted to be in the recycling business? <laughs> now, you're a, you're a soldier, <laughs> United States Army. <laughs> you're driving a shred truck around to the various police departments in, the <laughs> in that location of the base. Yeah. And you decide to handle all the shredding of all the police. <laughs>